Hello Internet. It seems that uh, my lack of video ideas has come back to bite me, so I'm here to review this weird thing. Bamboo backgammon. Yes, it's a backgammon game made out of bamboo. Yay. Just what everyone wants, right? See? Even the logo is made out of bamboo. Although the box is not. It's made out of cardboard. Let's see what it says. Warning, choking hazard. By a toy smith. I have no idea what that means. Uh, five years old, etc. On the back. Ah, oh, yes. Bamboo is a fast growing woody plant with over a thousand species that adapt to a variety of environments. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Uh, not suitable for children under 36 months, three years. Toy Smith, made in China, 2008. So it's kind of an old toy. Harvested every three to five years. If it grows two and a half feet a day, why does it take three to five years to harvest? Instructions included. Probably can't be uh, read, but whatever. And retain this information for future reference. Future reference for what? I bought a bamboo backgammon board, which I did open. This side's opened, I think. Yes, haha! -ha. Also, this uh, piece of plastic is not secured properly. Oh well. Instructions. Board. Piece of plastic. I'll set this to the side. Okay, well, there's three die for some reason. They're Chinese die, obviously, and it should be easy to tell. Um, and a bunch of pieces. Whoa. I don't exactly remember how to play back I mean, that much. Oh, yay! It shows the setup. I pray that that is right. Um, it looks right to me, actually. Yeah, it looks right. Okay. Well. Player. Opponent. Okay. Whatever. And these instructions are probably completely wrong and impossible to read. Hitting and entering. Why did... Bat Gamma has 24 triangles called points, blah blah blah. No, each player has 15 checkers or men. Your game may have more than 15. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. I know how to play backgammon. Oh, whoa. Oh. Screen's going all fiery. Okay, well. Guess I have to uh, open this, don't I? Head to the old Mercator. Undo the safety. So long there. Okay, take that stuff off. Ooh, there was a board that looks like it was made for backgammon. There's the bar, although I don't think it could really fit that many of your little checkers on it. I don't know. Let's take that off to the side, and here's a little bag. Ooh, looks like I might need that knife back after all. Oops, that was stupid of me. Although I really should probably have a pair of scissors, shouldn't I? Uh, they cut? Yeah, they cut really nicely. Yay. Now I can get rid of this. And let's see what the pieces are like. Is the board actually made out of bamboo? I doubt that. Let's see. Dump all the pieces onto the board and then immediately dump them off. Okay. See, these are obviously Chinese dice as they have red ones and fours and the twos and uh, where's six? Six is here. And the twos and sixes are oriented a little differently, although threes and fives are the same. And these are all, so they give you three Chinese dice, which, I mean, they feel like dice. It's kind of hard to, kind of hard to mess up die, I guess. This board might actually be made out of bamboo. I can't really tell. That doesn't really look that much like bamboo, but it kind of does at the same time. I don't know, but it's really nice. It's a nice sturdy board. Um, although my wrapping on it really doesn't uh, prove that to you, it actually is. It doesn't feel like it's going to shatter in my hand, and it's actually nicely polished. Doesn't feel like it's going to splinter and uh, kill me. And uh, these little chips uh, have much more to be desired, to be honest, than uh, that. But I wasn't really expecting too much. Focus, focus, 
focus. 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 There we go. There's a chip with way too much light on it. But it is bamboo. That's kind of obvious to tell. Um, these are very dark bamboo. Focus. There we go. Focus. Very nice chips, though. They're very light, but I guess that's a characteristic of bamboo. They feel... Because they're so light, they feel almost like they're little bits of styrofoam. Other than actual um, pieces. Anyway, let's set up um, backgammon, shall we? We have five here, right? I think. I think that's how this works. I'm used to playing dark, so I'll set it up with me playing dark. Five go here. You know, if this was actually a review of a backgammon, and not a backgammon board, I would say that it happens to be completely stupid that there are triangles and not, I don't know, squares or something that makes sense. Uh, five here. And then, you know what, this is kind of boring. I'll come back when I've set up backgammon. Okay, I'm back with backgammon setup. Here's uh, the board and how you set it up. Uh, again, this isn't really a review of backgammon, this is a review of the set. And the set does come with uh, nine extra pieces of each color, which is really helpful because you'll probably be losing some of them. So uh, instead of the 15 pieces that you need to play, it comes with 24 pieces. Uh, so I'm going to play a little game. One thing that I can say is it's probably too small to effectively move pieces, but you, what are you expecting with a travel set? So I'm going to say white is this die and black is this die. Three for white, you can't really see that. And black gets a one, so that means white goes first with three and one. Okay, so white will move. Huh. Three and one. Right there. I always find it peculiar that in backgammon, the, uh, you have the most men already where you want them, you have five men already in your zone, and you just need to bear them off later. And uh, you have the least number of men the farthest away from where you want them, and you really can't see that, but that was a six and a four for brown. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, four. Oh, that was the wrong way, what am I doing? What am I thinking? I'm playing as both white and black, and I'm, I'm playing like an idiot. So, uh, that's four, five, six stops in there, oh god, no, and then four afterwards stops in here, so yeah, I also hit the background, so yeah, like I, s I already s found out, man, it's uh, almost impossible to move these pieces, that's a three and six, let's see, so white will go here to be a douche, Nope, you can't go backwards, what am I doing? Yeah, see, it's confusing when you play as two people. I know that black goes like this, and I'm I'm used to that, I'm used to playing as black, but when I swap my orientations, I'm very bad. I'm also blocking your view of the backgammon board. Hope you appreciate that. But yeah, um, I'm going to stop playing now because there's no real point in playing with there's no other people. Um, but, I don't know. It's, um, it's too small, it's a nice set but your pieces will keep getting in the way of other pieces. Um, just, you probably have to pick pieces up and then count out where they go. And you can't, and a piece, if it's right here, I'm not sure how a piece will, maybe if I roll a one, I guess. If a piece is right here, it's probably gonna disrupt the board, kind of like that. That was almost purposeful. And it's there. Also, the bar is much too small. I understand but it's much too small. Uh, for the set, I understand. It's, it's a really small set, but see, the bar interferes with both of these, which are initially the most populated uh, parts of the board. So if you're going to uh, bar your men, I forget what you technically under that is, probably called barring, or capturing, or hitting, or whatever you call it, you're probably going to have to place your men off to the side if you have a set like this, this small. So I guess this is really a review of a smaller chess, of a smaller chess, smaller backgammon set, but um, 
and you can easily nudge it. Although this board, this nice, this board is really nice, as it takes a lot to move it, and it doesn't really uh, shake the pieces that well. So as a as small sets go, it's really nice. Um, but you you got the standard small set problem of your pieces are going to be bumping into each other and all that, and you're going to have to constantly be readjusting. But I'm not really sure what you expected with a small set if you got one. This was supposed to be a quick review. It wasn't, but um, yeah, you get more than enough stuff to play, and it works for playing backgammon. It's a uh, very actually very well made. Um, the die are a bit interesting, so but Chinese dice are actually very welcome because I collect types of die because I'm a weird person. I also collect small games, and uh, this is one of them. It's nice. It'll probably be nice if you can play back M on the go, although you'll probably lose some pieces. So uh, probably not car back M and more hotel room back M and so that you can um, play in your hotel room when you're bored or something like that. All the pieces are very well made, surprisingly well made, but they are just back M and pieces. Um, but I've seen some very poorly made back M and boards, same as I've seen poorly made chess boards and others and the like. So um, yeah. If you like backgammon and you want to go somewhere, I mean, get a small backgammon set, and if you can find a bamboo backgammon board, it's uh, one of the better ones I've seen. Not that I've really seen that many, but... Okay. Later. Bye, guys.